And real quick, I always like to point out our human. I always like to point out our. I always like to point out. God, I might I can't even talk. And really fast, I always like to point out our. I cannot even say that. I don't care how you think that crawl space needs to be fixed. Do you hear me? I don't care what you think's right, and I don't care what you think's wrong. I know how to fix these crawl spaces. We've been fixing them now since 2008, and I can fix your crawl space. And if you want it fixed, I'll be glad to take your money. But if you don't want it fixed, and if you ain't doing what you see us doing right here over and over and over, then it ain't going to be fixed, then you can rest assured Tanner Flowers ain't going to take your money. And you can think I'm a smart aleck. You can think whatever you, th you want to think. But if I'm going to put my name on it, it's going to be fixed right, and it's going to be perfect just like every other video that you've ever clicked play on that had my name on it. What's going on, guys? Running wide open just like I always am. Getting ready to show you all another brand new crawl space encapsulation. Look how beautiful that house is. This house belongs to one of my buddies, David. And guys, I first inspected this crawl space that you're about to see way back in 2017. And here we are now, Friday, April the 12th, 2019. And guys, you already know I'm getting ready to insert some before pictures of this project right now. So sit back and prepare to be amazed at what we were up against before we got started about two weeks ago. Just keep in mind, friends, these pictures that you're seeing now, all these before photos, these pictures were taken nearly one and a half years ago. Wow, it always amazes me that these homeowners end up calling me back sometimes two, sometimes three years later to get these problems resolved that they were battling so much time before whenever I initially inspected their home. Look at the mess inside this crawl space. And guys, you want to talk about a giant crawl space. This crawl space was nearly 3,000 square feet. Look at the back wall here. Look at the water that was coming in. It had been standing on top of the poly. You'll see the dirt residue everywhere. Look at that foundation wall right there and that wetness. That's where the water was coming down the expansion joint and coming inside the foundation of the crawl space. We did have to put an inside perimeter French drain line along the back wall of this home and route all of that water to one of our sump pump basins where it is then discharged by one of our super heavy duty sump pumps. And you'll notice now I'm at the far corner of the home. I'm turning that corner now. I'm headed back out towards the crawl space entry and I'm about to take you guys through this finished product right now. Here we go guys. Whoa, can you guys believe the size of this crawl space guys? It is a monster. I'm gonna flip this camera around right now guys, take you throughout this entire project, show you everything that we did and show you how exactly we resolved this home's moisture problems. Here we go. This may actually be the nicest crawl space door that I have ever seen. And once we get it unlatched here, we slide it open and you already know guys overhead, you just hit the switch and we got lights throughout this entire crawl space. And if you guys will remember in the before photos, this slab of concrete right here, we had that giant pile of bricks. We had stuff all over it. And David wanted to still be able to use this slab to be able to store certain items underneath here. So guys, take a look at the bottoms right here and look how perfectly the crawl space artists have came over here and brought our 20 mil poly right up against this slab of concrete for David. And friends, there is way too much detail work that is taking place along that wall to not give you guys a slow pan shot of all of our craftsmanship. Take a good close look at the quality that you're seeing right now and feel free to jump online when you get finished watching this video and see if you can find what you're seeing right here in any other video on the entire internet. And real quick guys, I would like to point out our first humidistat fan that we have in place here. Take a close look guys at how well that is sealed all the way around the sides of that unit. 
And what those are, guys, these are actually the exhaust system of this entire project. And they take air from within this crawl space and pull it outside and send it outside the home so that no pressurized air and no stagnant odors that can be built up inside this crawl space are able to go up inside the living quarters of the home above. And these crawl space walls that you're looking at here, guys, are nearly five feet tall. This is the tallest crawl space that we have done since my buddy Robert's house way up on Jasper Mountain at the start of this year. And as you might have already noticed, guys, there is a ton of piers underneath this home. And as you take a look, as I slowly pan left across this entire crawl space, notice how each and every pier looks like it was freshly wrapped by Santa Claus himself. And right up there, guys, is one of our giant Santa Fe Advanced Dehumidifier Systems. There are two of those units under this crawl space, and I will give each of you a closer look of those models whenever I get over there to those areas. And if you're new to the channel here and you're not exactly sure what your eyes are looking at, this is a 20 mil fiberglass reinforced poly that you are seeing all over this entire ground of this crawl space up the entire section of the walls and over every single pier within this crawl space even the piers that the builders decided to stair step because of lord knows why look at that do you think we cut any corners you think we just slid it up over those steps no we didn't we edged every single one of them out just like we always do just like the perfection that you see in every single one of our jobs just like the perfection that you've been seeing now for how many years somebody tell me good god almighty coming up in the corner of the home now you will see our second humidistat fan on this project and notice how well this entire crawl space is lit up you already know I've got to thank my father-in-law, William Austin, for all of our wiring and electrical needs. Thanks, Dad. Great job. Look at that right there. Do you think I'm kidding with you people? You think I'm messing around? You think you could call up another company and get work like what you're seeing right here done? If you think you can, be my guest and dial them up. Because if you think you can get this kind of work somewhere else, you're mistaken. And if you want to find out the hard way, just like so many others have, go ahead and find out the hard way, baby. That's up to you. It's your money. Blow it if you want to. I've worked myself over here in a tight spot against this duck line. And I'm trying to show you guys all that I can show you from right here. Take a look at every single place you can see, guys. Wow. Freaking amazing. Man, we've been doing it for a long time now, guys. And I'm telling you, I never get tired of seeing it, and I never stop getting blown away. Look at that right there behind me, guys. Let me just lay down here and let you see. Can you believe that? This is underneath a house. Whose crawl space is looking like this, guys? God, that is so awesome. Great job, team. Great work, guys. Another A-plus project. Look over here to my left, guys. Look at those steps going up on that footer. Notice that they didn't miss a single section of that. Let's crawl on in here and I'll take you guys throughout this entire room as well. You'll notice that we've got another one of our humidistat fans over there on that back wall. And look at the tops of the walls, guys. Notice those wall anchors that you see all the way around this entire project. And now as I come out of this room right here and I look over here to my left, this whole back wall of this home that I'm showing you guys right now, you may have remembered from the before pictures how wet that section of the home was and what was happening is on this side of the home there's a swimming pool there's a lot of concrete outside here and they had water coming down and getting inside the foundation so we had to actually install one of our inside perimeter french drain lines all the way along this entire back wall and right down there in the lowest point way down there which i'll show all of you here in just a second is one of our sump pump basins with one of our super strong sump pumps and as you may have already noticed guys we did not do any of the insulation work in this project this insulation that was currently in the home was not in terrible shape so we did not actually see the need to go ahead and pull all that insulation and replace it with our R19 poly encapsulated insulation. Let's go over here and take a closer look at our Santa Fe Advanced Dehumidifier system now. 
Here we are at the Santa Fe Advanced Dehumidifier, and if you just seen that drop of water coming out of that line right here, what's happening, guys, this is filling up this condensate pump basin, and there is a float switch inside here, and once this water level rises up to a certain point, it will trip that float switch, sending this water up, over, and all the way down to our sump pump. I wanna bring all of you over here along to the front of the unit now, and notice right here, guys, you always want to make sure that your switch is set to auto. And if you'll look right here, notice this dial is set to six o'clock. Look how we could turn it all the way on. We could turn it all the way back off, but I'm going to turn it right back to where it was right here at six o'clock because inside the home moments ago, I was just inside there with David and his wife and we were looking at the monitor systems. This system has not even been running for 24 hours yet, guys. And when I come underneath right then, right before I hit record on this video, the moisture levels were already down to 49%. I was just under a crawl space right before I got here, almost 80% less than 30 minutes up the road do the math you think this system works uh go ahead and you be the judge and before i hop over there on that back wall guys take a look at this middle section of crawl space i haven't crawled down it yet and take a look at everything that we did here look at that guys it looks like an ice skating rink can you believe this is underneath a freaking house wow amazing i still sometimes find it hard to believe that when i'm doing these videos I'm actually inside a crawl space. This is so unbelievable. And like I already mentioned, guys, there's an inside perimeter French drain line going all the way down this entirety of this back wall. And underneath this poly right here, we've got our trench that we dug super deep. And then we lined those trenches with our landscaping fabric. We put our perforated pipe inside that fabric. Our pipe has the filter sock around it as well. We then backfill our drainage gravel over that pipe. We fold the flaps of our fabric down and we backfill over the top of those flaps before putting our 20 mil poly back over the top of that. And that is what is channeling this water that is coming in from this back wall all the way down to our sump pump basin. I know some of you that are watching right now, you may have never heard my name in your life. This could very likely be the first video that you have ever seen in your entire life that had Tanner flowers in it. But I'm gonna share with you all right here in just a second when I get to where I can posture up, I'm gonna share with you a story from two days ago that I had to share with one of our customers. And uh, I was really worried he was gonna think I was being a smart aleck with him. 75 year old man, Super nice guy, one of the nicest men that you'll ever meet. And we walked right back around to the back side of his house. We was right there at his crawl space door entry. And he looked right there at it and he pointed at it and he said, listen, I want you to go inside our crawl space and I want you to insulate all our walls. We want foam on the walls and all that stuff. And I shook my head and I said, no, we ain't gonna do that for you. Well, that's what I want. And I go, well, I'm just telling you, ain't what we gonna do for you. He goes, well, you can go ahead and do your part then and then I'll get somebody else to come here and do that rest. I said, no, we won't be doing none of this project for you. And he said, excuse me? I go, I'm gonna try to say this to you right now without being a smart aleck, and I ain't the best talker in the world, so I'm gonna say it as best as I can to you. I don't care how you think that crawl space needs to be fixed, do you hear me? I don't care what you think's right, and I don't care what you think's wrong. I know how to fix these crawl spaces. We've been fixing them now since 2008, and I can fix your crawl space. And if you want it fixed, I'll be glad to take your money. But if you don't want it fixed, and if you ain't doing what you see us doing right here over and over and over, then it ain't gonna be fixed, then you can rest assured, Tanner Flowers ain't gonna take your money. And you can think I'm a smart aleck, you can think whatever you, think whatever you wanna think. But if I'm gonna put my name on it, it's going to be fixed right, and it's going to be perfect, just like every other video that you've ever clicked play on that had my name on it. And now, I'll show you our sump pump basin. Look how the guys have got this thing down here perfectly level. This thing's nearly 36 inches deep into the ground. And if we look inside here, I don't want to take that lid off right now, but you'll see our sump pump right here. And what happens is, same thing is happening in that condensate pump back there, that dehumidifier. This water level inside here will rise up to a certain point where it trips that float switch. And as soon as it trips that float switch, that water is sent up this pipe right here 
outside this discharge line to a pop-up emitter where the water comes out in the yard where it is no longer a problem whatsoever underneath the crawl space of this beautiful home. I've just about backed myself over here into a corner and I can't even get out of it. Look at all this stuff I got around me, guys. Right here to my left, this is our fourth humidistat fan on this project. And as I pass it right here, we're going to be making our way back towards the crawl space entry where we started this video at. Let me get right here, post up on my knee real quick, and give you guys a slower pan shot to the right here of this entire crawl space underneath here. Take a look at the beauty, guys. Can you believe what you're looking at right now? I know I can't, and I've been seeing them for years. They never cease to amaze me. Terrific job, team. Very, very impressive. Take a look at the tops of the walls. Look around these main duck line entry points coming in from the foundation, guys. And coming up up here to our right, you will see that Santa Fe Advanced Dehumidifier that we've got right up there as well. And I'll take you guys over there and show all that to you in just a second. This is going to be a replica to the setup that you just saw earlier. Right up there on the back side of the home where our first unit is. And guys, if you'll see the condensate pump right here, remember, and you can see all the water droplets inside that line right now. That water's coming out of that dehumidifier system into this condensate pump going look at it right there look at that guys can you see any water in here you don't see any water do you but you see it coming out because guys what we're taking care of by doing what you're seeing here this, this is stuff that you don't see with the naked eye you cannot see this moisture that we are removing from these crawl spaces sure you can see a standing water issue if you got one and sure we can take care of that but these crawl space encapsulations and these systems that you're seeing here this is all taking care of moisture that is invisible to us we can we don't even know these problems are taking place usually until it's too late and as you might have already known that water is going down into that condensate pump basin and up over right back over there to the sump pump basin that we were just at moments ago and we are nearing the end of the project now guys take a look at the remaining portion of the project that you haven't been able to see so far back over here to the slab of concrete now there's a sliding door and I believe with that being said, guys, I've showed you the entire project. So guys, if you've enjoyed what you've seen, hopefully you've been able to learn something about how to properly remove moisture problems underneath homes inside crawl spaces. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, drop me a like, and leave me a comment, guys. Take a look for yourself. I do my absolute best to answer each and every single comment left on this channel yeah me this guy right here i do it all so guys thank you for being here i appreciate your time for the world's largest crawl space encapsulation video library don't just take my word on these jobs don't let me sell you with this one video go watch all the friggin videos you want to watch at crawlspaceartist.com artist is plural and for all of your nuisance wildlife needs visit us online at cleveland tn wildlife removal.com for all of your stump grinding needs we've been getting stump calls guys out the butt visit us online at cleveland tn stump and you already know and if you didn't know you're going to know next week if you want to be if you want a bad pond built in your yard waterfall stream creek you name it visit us online at pondartist.com and stay tuned to this channel right here for next week because i'll let you in on a little secret you may just be getting ready to see some really 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 cool pond stuff again friends stay with me guys thank you for being here i appreciate you and i can't wait to talk to each and every single one of you in that next video we'll see you then guys